Hey guys, it's Sam. I'm in the midst of minimizing my planner collection, sticker collection, all of the stationary items. Actually, I'm in the minimizing my like whole life right now. Um, just decluttering, finding what I'm using, finding what I love, finding what I don't love, and just trying to get the extra stuff out of my house. Um, I've already gone through my planner stuff once this year, with the sole purpose of downsizing my desk. This is a really old, like, uh, it's like something that you would have seen in an office back in the, I don't know what, it's giant, I love it, but it has a lot of different quirks where you have to open this drawer to get this drawer open and that kind of thing. And honestly, there's too much space and it encourages me to hold on to things that I don't need. And so earlier this year, we bought a couple of desks from Ikea and I ended up building one and my daughter started using it and I chickened out. I, I was like, I'm not, a, I'm not thinking there's gonna be enough space for my stuff, which should have been my first clue because we started doing this whole, you know, getting rid of stuff earlier this year when we went on our weight loss journey and all of that. But I chickened out and so this big desk still remains and most of my crap along with it. This is going to be like a multi-layer thing. I am not of the like Marie Kondo variety. I, I hate her method of decluttering. Um, so I, I don't mind coming back in and like doing another round. So 15 minutes in this closet, 15 minutes in this section, get rid of like really easy to get rid of things. And then the next week or the next month or a couple of months from then going through and doing it again. And of course, if you watch anything about decluttering, you know that once you get that like muscle memory built up for wanting to get rid of stuff versus hold on to things, it becomes easier, easier and easier as time goes on. So this is my like second go around with this and it was much easier. And actually, so I, I actually already filmed a video that I'm not going to end up uh, posting, but it was me going through all of this and it just, it became incredibly long. I was taking all of the stickers out of all of these albums and I was talking my way through things and I was like, nobody is going to wanna to watch this or at least probably less people will wanna watch this. And so I have my decisions made and I just wanted to like talk about the decision making and yeah. I asked on Instagram oh, a week or so ago if anybody would like to see my progress and there was a lot of yes. So this is gonna be one of these videos where I talk about what I was decluttering and why, and just so you can see someone else successfully, hopefully letting go of things. So I have multiple sticker holders and these have, you know, the, the release paper. So I have several stickers in here. And then I bought this because it's easier to transport, but I don't find myself taking my stickers anywhere. So I'm going to be putting these stickers in here and then I'll be making some other decisions. I, I do think that I'm gonna put some full sheets back in here because I just don't want to take the time to take the stickers that I am holding on to and putting them like sticker by sticker in this book. But I'm hoping that I won't need all three of these again. Um, and then I have a crap ton of stuff that I'm gonna be selling and I'm gonna be selling it over on my Instagram page, um, Earthy Plans, if you're interested. Um, yeah, I don't know. They, they might sell quickly, they might not. And so I have a lot of things here and I find myself getting into the habit of feeling, feeling guilty for selling something because I like the shop or you know I feel bad because that's someone's livelihood, but it's not that I don't like it, it's just stickers that I have not found myself using and so I have to get rid of some. So through going through my stash, these are the stickers that I have decided to keep, which I think is more than enough. I'm not really even using stickers that much anymore. Um, and honestly, I. I might just talk myself out, I still, I've gone through, okay, so originally I filmed me going through the stickers and then what I was parting with. And then I sat here and I went through the stack like two more times. And every time I still found stickers that I was 
feeling like I would be okay to part with. And I'm gonna start counting the things that I get rid of in my home just to give myself like something to cheer myself on with because this is definitely not easy. I think that it gets easier the more you practice it, but it's not like, oh, you know, what's gonna be really easy to do today. I mean, it's hard work. And I'm hoping that the hard work of going through excess will keep me from adding to for 2024. Now that I've gone through everything, I'm gonna show you what I am keeping and what I am parting with. And again, this is like not, like I don't love these shops. These are just stickers that I'm like, have I found myself? you know, going for them. Honestly, I'm not using as many stickers in my planners or journals anymore. So it's just, it's just time. All right, so we have here, let's start with the biggest pile. These are all from Once More With Love. In total, this is 33, I think, 33 partial sheets. Some of them have a couple more used than others, but some of them have barely been touched. So I feel like there's enough value here to sell these to someone else. And I'm, you know, <laughs> I'm just gonna be selling them pretty cheap, um, plus a couple of dollars for shipping and the shipping container that I'm putting them in. But that's a fat stack of stickers that probably took up one of these little albums that I just, I'm not finding myself using. Um, in my initial, <laughs> stash pile I did not put these mini circle icons from randy.plans in here but I'm not going to use them because I don't use undated planners so it was I didn't need to buy these but there's one two three four five sheets and each sheet has um, two two months so ten months I guess of stickers for an undated planner and then honestly, I bought two sets of these stickers like back to back uh, because I bought the wrong size. So these are, these just arrived and I don't need them. So I'm gonna be getting rid of those. And that is, let's see, so it was 33. I'm not good at math. So we'll see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 11 sheets here. I'm gonna just write that down because I I want to get like a total going. Okay, so 33, did I say 10? I'm not going back to count, I'm gonna lose my mind. Okay, and then these full Once More With Love sticker sheets. So there's four of those. I don't wanna get these all messed up here. Okay, and then these from Pumpkin Paper Co, which this, I guess, this is a full sheet. Like, her sheets were sized differently, but I cut it in half so it would fit in that album. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine sheets of that. And I don't know what happened to her. She just fell off the face of the earth. Tara, just, I don't know. She was just gone one day. Um, and I don't use these stickers anymore. And I mean, several of these have been barely touched or are completely full. Someone can still find use for that, but it's just not going to be me. And then I have some, the Coffee Monsters Co. stickers. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine uh, sticker sheets that are partially used. <laughs> We ended up getting a stationary bike, but I didn't want to use it. And then we also have a treadmill. So my son uses the stationary bike, but he doesn't use stickers. Um, so parting with that and obviously various other sheets of stickers. And then I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten some office ones in there, full sheets of stickers. And then I have this um, kind of random functional stickers and there's like, I don't know, 25, 30 stickers in here. I will get like an actual total. Um, I'll get an actual total because I do wanna keep track of the things that I'm parting with for the year. And then um, 
yeah, these are the ones I'm keeping. And I'll probably go through these one more time before I make my final decision because I do not want to hold on to things that I am not using. And then I also think that I think I'll probably sell this. Maybe I'll just like make this like a functional planning bundle situation. Um, I don't know. I mean, I've used this one. I'm going to be taking the stickers off of here though, but I might just keep this around just in case. That's not what you're supposed to do, but that's probably what I'm going to do. Um, yeah. So I have a couple of things that I just think are too, and it's just a couple, but I think they're too like dated looking to um, include in any of those piles for sell for sale, but don't worry, there's not a lot of them. Um, but yeah, so getting rid of quite a bit of things. And I understand that this probably, if you took my collection and compared it to somebody else's, it might not even be a lot, but all that matters is that it was too much for me and I was running out of room for storing things. They were keeping me from downsizing. And there's other things in that like category, things that have kept me from downsizing and I'm gonna be purging those as well. And I'm just going to be left with the things that I actually absolutely love and that I'm absolutely using and I just need to get rid of the rest. Like I said, this is what we've been doing in our home for the last, I don't know, eight, eight or nine months. It started about the same time that we started the whole um, no sugar weight loss journey and all of that. I think those things just kind of come naturally you want to make better decisions overall. And I, I don't know, we've just, there's been so many things kind of lumped into this journey for us this year. It's super awesome doing it with my husband because I have a teammate and somebody who is like-minded and we're on the same page. And, you know, when he's feeling down about the whole thing, I'll be like, no, let's do this and vice versa. So it's it's been really good. But I feel really good about coming in finally. It's like I haven't spent a lot of time at my desk because I know there are things on this desk that don't need to be. And um, I don't feel peaceful when I sit here. And that needed to change. So I'm here changing it. I hope that you enjoyed this. I'd love to hear if you were doing something similar with your planner stash. Uh, now this year, coming in 2024, if you have you know plans to do this yourself, I'd love to hear from you in the comments below. I just saw another random stack of stuff that I'm gonna be adding to this pile <laughs> that I completely forgot about. I'm letting it go, just know. I hope that you liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're new around here and want to stick around for other videos, please consider subscribing. Thanks so much as always for watching and I hope to see you again soon. Bye guys.